Butte County man is stepping up, becoming a silent hero in the war on Ukraine. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca joins us in studio. So, Tori, why did he decide to start helping out? Yeah, Haley, like a lot of us, he was watching the news and knew that he wanted to help. So Lawrence Odell is a former Butte County Chief Administrative Officer, and he first flew into Warsaw, Poland, which is just on this western side of Ukraine. And then eventually he did make his way into Ukraine, and since then has really been working in the Kyiv area, if I can find that on the map. Yep, right here. He's been working in and out of this area, making deliveries. And he calls the connections he's since made in Ukraine serendipity, like meeting John Hill, an Englishman who was in Ukraine for the same reason to help people. Together, the two have pitched in thousands of their own dollars to personally deliver resources like military equipment, medical aid, backpacks, food for pets. And along the way, he has befriended a Ukrainian battalion commander who we spoke with through a translator. The focus was on the end user. Uh, with working with him, we didn't have to wait for someone to say it's okay to do it. When we found a need, we can do it. If all the military aid that was promised to Ukraine would be uh, supplied in time, uh, we would get uh, the quick, uh, fast victory. Odal recently made a military tactical equipment delivery to the battalion, earning him this badge. He made Odal an honorary member of the battalion. But Odal tells me it's not about the work he is doing, but all of the other silent heroes that he has been connecting with during his time in Ukraine, who are all fighting every day to protect their country. So, Tori, has Odal had any close calls? I mean, he's in a really dangerous area. Yeah, Haley, he certainly, unfortunately, has had some close calls. Uh, he tells me that before they make any deliveries, they have to make sure that they vet that person. And um, one of these times, it ended up being a Russian spy, so they, of course, didn't actually meet up with him. And uh, just this morning, too, he told me before the Zoom, uh, he was a little late to the Zoom, because the hotel he was trying to stay at actually got bombed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, super, super scary, but he was able to get to a safe wow. place and still talk with me. But that just kind of shows you the realities of what he's going through. And, you know, he's, he's, he knows he's in the right place. Yeah. And, doing what he calls his passion. All right, Tori, thank you so much. And Odal has made three trips to Ukraine since the war broke out and says helping these people, as Tori mentioned, it's really become his passion. And, you know, we're grateful for people like him.